Yeah, having a... Oh, where is um, Pound Bakery now? That's not in here now, is it? So we're still full of cold, and we thought we'd bring you around Rill, and we're going to go into Tawin, and heads are probably as well. It's Sunday, but in all honesty, the, I don't really see the precinct being massively busy any day, but there's a lot of shops shut. It's Pigeon. I still don't understand how these phone shops stay open. Them ones maybe, but not the actual phone shops. Oh, they've still got stock in there. Do you want to have a look at it and see if there's out else? new look gone now that's going that's gone I think that card factory is going or they've made another one or something <clears throat> yeah last time we were, last time we were in Michael said did he goes oh well, should we go to that coffee place we went to I was like oh where's that he goes oh um, Tim's Tim's coffee. Pints of John Smith, two twenty-five in the lawn. Oh, where would you get them cheap Easter eggs from? The little ones. We should get some of them. We should get some of them. Yeah. Seagull's still at it. Those two pubs now, are all, are all the pubs down here shut? The whole street? Oh dear. Right, so we've already had the first half term and we're in March. Easter's at the end. I actually thought it'd be a lot more open than what it is. Parks are open now. It's Sunday, so there are more people. Well, there doesn't look to be more people here, but there's not much fun to come out to. But when we were in Prestatton yesterday, Tesco's was absolutely rammed. So they're all here. But I suppose if they've got now to come out to, they're not going to, are they? Crazy Golf is coming along well. I don't think this, I don't actually think this will be done for Easter. It's quite big though. And the one they've got down Robin Hood, that one's uh, pirate themed, doesn't it? It looks well, it looks quite good. They've got exercise equipment on there, you know, from that park. I didn't know that until, was it the other week when I looked around it? Fairgrounds had more rides added, but it's not open yet. We're going to wander down to Lions Winkups because it seems that's the only park at the minute around this area, anyway, that's got um, things going on. That is cold. That's straight, that's straight to my head. 
we had them chairs there last time? That like start flying thing last year or not? I I don't I can't remember it being that. I might I might be wrong because I quite like the rides and we didn't go on it. But we could do going on the rides this year. I think on both of them. Sunday's 3rd of March. The um, market. But Sunday today and it's not on now. So unless, was that the um, half term? I thought that was February. I think so. Yeah, Sunday's from 3rd of March. Yeah, it is. Shops back open. I'm just gonna have a quick look round. I quite like them as a prize. Seeing a seagull with a donut in his mouth and chips. I really like them. Let's see if we can get one. What's that? Fruit Mania? Have you got your two pea pushers? Yes, we have. Some prizes. Bingo. It's not a bad little arcade, it's a fruity. Just see these pies, you can win on the um, grab over there. It's a seagull with like a chip on the other one, so we're quite cool. Right. Yeah, let's see if we can win the seagull. I don't mind donut or chip, to be honest. If we manage to get one, I'd be loving it. Oh my word, never. Never in a million years on your first go. <laughs> Seagulls, seagulls. Which one do you want now? <laughs> well, I don't know. They've all got, they're all, whatever you think, I don't want to interfere. Oh, there's no one. There's no ones with chips. It doesn't matter. We can give one away as a prize. If that's if you manage to get them. That's, that never happens. Oh, you must have had the lucky one. I swear I never thought we'd get it because you never win on these things. It's like a Mother's Day present. I'm not your mother, but... <laughs> I'm well chuffed. I want one of them. <laughs> oh, they've got dusty bin. Right, that's made my day, that has. Well, apparently not. First go. First go. <laughs> oh. Right, he's going to have to take pride of place and I'm going to get a picture of him because he's ace. There. Picture. Yeah, it doesn't take much to make me happy, but that, that is ace. <laughs> Right, we're going to see if we've got a bit of luck on here or whether it's just spud today. That is not bad at all. So, I've been fed to a coffee and a Greg's donut. Is that going in there? I hope. It is. Right. And we've won a seagull. So, let's just. Let's see what we can get. Okay. Uh, six. Oh, 
to speed this up because I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch the whole thing. Alright, so I think I will try my luck on... What should we go for? I like prizes. Hmm. There's no real prize that at the end. So, maybe we'll just try our luck. Right, well, there's a TV hanging up there. Down, but it did go down the slot. Oh, now that wins something. Oh, right, well, we'll have to save the book then. Doubt two tickets will buy anything. Right, so that's where we've just been. It's literally one of the only places that are open at the minute. I know the park's open. Looks like there's people in there for the sports bar as well. There's a chippy open. What time are we on? Two. Two. Oh, well, that chippy might be open later. Ah! I'm going to have to walk around. Chippy might be open later, but there's a main chippy down here that's open. And what do we all think of Stephen? I missed the joke. It's Stephen Seagal. I think we're going to have to start bringing him on our um, seaside trips and he's going to be the poster boy for uh, what do you call him what do you call him <laughs> you know the picture you put on at the front of YouTube what is that called yeah thumbnail there we go is our poster boy for the thumbnails that's actually quite a good one in front of the caravans there we go so it's been a productive day not really much going on but it is that time of year I suppose back to the car and onwards to Penzan we'll just see what's going on there see if there's anything changed very much doubt it because that prom has been the same for years though it's always busy and on a Sunday it always seems busy as well right I think the likelihood of being able to win one of these is going to be slim to know when you've just won one, but... Mm. We're going for one with a chip so they've got friends. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Which one of you lucky buggers wants to come back with us? How many more goes you got? Not saying that. Sorry, one more. Ah. Now mind. We've got ETs as well. I like the seagulls. The seagulls are the best. Do you want to go with anything else? No, it's not the bingo I like it. I like the other bingo. What's that? Nothing. Right, okay. There's plenty of fruit, uh, fruit machines. What do you call them? I like them as well. Sonics and Taz. The crane machines. Yeah, those um, those cards, I think um, I think that might be the, like, the one we got in real. You know that we, t you could, we topped up last time we were there. It might be the same thing. But so far, I'd say that's the best chippy around this, as in, in town. Doesn't beat Les and Reeds, but it is very nice. I thought more of these might have been open and all. Nothing's open. Oh, what that? It is always busy down here. Like literally, that takeaway is open for hygiene. The toilets here are free or were free. I look like that's got meter on it now. They are 50p, 50p to p. They used to be free. Crazy golf down here. That I've just seen that as we passed. That had um, the castle on it. 
Is that closed? Yes, they've not opened back up yet. Maybe they're going to open it Easter, but there's always cars down here. Oh, why? I didn't even see that. So there's tents down here and tents on real seafront as well. The one on real seafront, though, has been there for about two weeks, hasn't it? Two of them, so people are living in them. That one might be just sheltering, but the one with real seafront, there are definitely people living in that. That's a massive rock. Pictures of locals on that shelter there. So I, think, I don't know who they are. Oh, people, celebrity town. Oh, it's from when they had the celebrity um, castle. They did it all down in Begali too, didn't they? There's that mast, or is that another one? That um, G, what is it? 5G mast. Yeah, we'll go and see if we can find see Steve and a, a mate with a chip in his mouth. They used to have like something there, didn't they? Like bouncy castle or something. They do bingo in here as well. Mini golf. 50p, that does feel like a liberty. And then you've got your uh, motorhomes that tend to park on the corner here. Because there's a barrier they can't get under. The Pebble Beach and um, that beach of night, you don't want to be parked down there if you're um, if you just want, wanted an iced coffee or something on the beach because it's um, when you say dog beach, it's not it's not for walking your dog down. We'll leave it at that. Oh yeah, I do, Mike. We also pass a train station, you can get the train there. I don't know how often they run. This chip is meant to be a really good chippy. In fact, it is a really good chippy. We've been there before, we haven't been for a while though. on into an area called Belgrano and a bit further down on the right hand side we are turning it in and all the houses and like it's a, there's not a massive amount of, I don't know say about 50 houses or so they're all built like Spanish to say casas like Spanish style homes um, and one of them we know of is a holiday rental actually really nice they've got like a hot tub and that lot out the back but they were saying that they um it was something to do with their granddad or something but the person who built it basically loved spain and that's what they built it on more houses being built there is it down this one or the next one Big park. In fact, this is what you get round here. 
caravan park, caravan, 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 caravan. What you will know is, is you don't have any 20 signs down here, which has drove residents elsewhere absolutely bonkers because everyone <laughs> that lives here is kind of having to stick to the 20s. But through the main holiday maker zones, they've stuck with the 30s and 40s. I think basically so they're not catching people out when they get down here, but the residents don't want the 20s either. So there's a bit of controversy on that one. busier. That's on the left. What's that car doing there? I'm waiting for the oncoming traffic. Hairdressers. I don't think that taxi rank looks like it's open anymore, but they've got cars outside it. It just looks like it's seen better days. We've got Asda on the left with a petrol station car wash. And down that road there on the right. As you go further down there, that's where the garden centre is, isn't it? So you've got quite a big garden centre down there that has a cafe. The Social Club. The retro Disco Fridays. Dart, snooker and pool in there. It's 
some of them social clubs are quite good. They don't seem to be overpriced. And generally they've got a pool table or something. season it's absolutely fine during the season peak season it is rammed absolutely heaving so we would give it a miss then personally just because I can't be doing with having all them people about a nice view from the blue bridge at night that one lights up to make no sense whatsoever because they've done absolutely nothing with it other than it's acquired for development which likelihood would be houses that very few people want but there was a really good snooker club there we've yet to try here for coffee we have said that before that we thought we'd give that a go now got people living on the promenade in tents they've been there for literal weeks I'm really surprised they've not been moved on we're assuming the promenade is 20 mile an hour we don't actually know because I can't remember seeing a sign that says any different but with a speed camera there, everyone seems to do 20, so just bear that in mind. Then we've got this uh, new new Sun Centre, which isn't that new. Golf, and we're into the arcade, so we're going to park up and get going. Alright, so while we're here, I thought we would take you um, and just see what has changed of late. So far, obviously we've got no beach huts anymore. I think that may have been like that on the last, the last quick vlog we did in the area of, of this area. The sea defences are getting done, so at the minute, the prom is not that pretty on in this area. I mean, don't worry, rail has got miles and miles of golden sands, but at the minute, it's not. Um, it's not exactly living up to its its name. There's a gentleman there with a metal detector seeing what you can find. But yeah, it's not it's not looking its greatest. I mean it, it takes time, these things do take time and it will change. But unfortunately for those who did enjoy coming here um, and visiting the sea aquarium, the sea defences have caused that much disruption to the animals um, that lived here. It's closed, it won't be reopening, all the animals are being relocated, uh, the inside has been stripped out, a lot of the stuff was sold, including glass off the tanks, I think they've sold that on Facebook Connect, uh, Prestatin Connect on, on Facebook, so that's not going to be happening anytime soon. Of any change of use for the building, it's got no plans, and obviously it's a big plot of land and it's perfectly spotted on the prom, so whatever it did get changed into, I would imagine it would be profitable, but what? I mean, 
there's arguments all over the place where Will's concerned they've got people who claim that they need more houses I don't know who they're housing because like literally we've drove past so many houses for sale and there's so many unused buildings as well which I think need to be used before starting to build and build and build and build they need to be using what we've got I mean above some of the arcades there are like decrepit empty flats well get them fixed get people moved in I mean, there's people needing the houses apparently this is where they should be and you're not automatically entitled to a house uh, this is the old Woolies building that's been recently done up and that does look a heck of a lot better because it was a proper blight on the seafront it was a real mess but that does look so much better now I'm not sure actually what it's being used as I mean this Units on the underneath are all being used now, but I'm not entirely sure what the top's been used for. Um, I mean, there's lights on, so it is getting used. But yeah, um, we don't need more houses built. We need the buildings that are in disrepair to be put back into mainstream use. I mean, it might sound like I'm being harsh, but we're not all entitled to a house, you're entitled to a home. I've lived in a flat, we, we live in a house now because Spud's worked hard for years and we've managed to get our foot on the ladder and that's just how it is, but we'd have been perfectly happy in a apartment, a flat. Home is what you make of it. High street down there. Can sit. Oh, it brought in with us. There we go. Maybe if I hold him in a headlock, other seagulls will think not to bother me when I eat my chips <laughs> or donuts. Quick look round the fair. Well, the children's village. See, the arcades and mill are actually open. Not all, but most. Um, and the market has got no signs yet of when it's going to be open. It's not even finished. There's been no changes to any of the rides on here. All the same. going to go down the high street we've already been in uh, today and got ourselves a coffee and a couple of bits but we'll go up to some of the souvenir shops and we love the rename the shit shops it's basically full of talk that everyone loves <laughs> you can't help but peruse and there's always you find something you always find something whether you went in for nothing, you come out with something. So that's the market, which isn't in keeping with the front whatsoever. The old market that was there prior, the old building sat there prior, were a lot nicer. I might go crane machine mad that day, I think. One thing we are lacking in is free toilets. Um, so I am going to be cheeky and nip into Mackey's, which is what everybody else does. So. Yeah, so all the souvenir shops are open. I've got one of boo on that, look. gone are the days that everything was a pound and that you used to be the entrance <coughs> to the market five pound bucket and spade I'm definitely showing my age now because I, <laughs> I do remember them being a pound a set I mean I know it's a full set but I suppose five is not too expensive if you're going to be on the front all day 
digging up, helping with the sea defences. Another look at Paul's building. Oh, we have seagulls there as well. They've got the chips. So we'll have a go, if, unless Spud's got something here, so we'll have a go in that one, I think. I've yet to remember which one he was in. Oh, I'm going to have to send. <laughs> I have to call him. Come and find me. I'm lost again. It wouldn't be the first time. And then we go over there. That's quite, a, it says 12 holes, it's quite a large and quite a themed one. Quite well themed. I mean, everything looks worse on a dull day, doesn't it? Blue skies, things look completely different. In the, in the part of the children's village where the tourist information bit is, there used to be an Indian on the farm there. That used to be really nice. I've said this again. This is years and years and years ago. I think Mike was about one or two. Something like that. I really think. for rent and it would be highly profitable it's um, like a children activity place you know with like ball pools and things like that I think. classic bingo do love a bit of bingo one nine, nineteen, double nine, milkshakes. Two dozen, twenty-four. Not actually many of them on the front now. You know, when you get your chips, you don't see milkshakes from. There's not actually a massive amount of them there. I think this was a nice addition because, to be fair, I wouldn't normally welcome in massive chains. You know, it, it stops like the local B and Bs and things like that. There's not a lot of them about either anymore. And people need to stay where to stay, and these buildings were looking really dilapidated. And they've done a good job, they've renovated it up nice, so it's nice, at least it's nice and tidy now. I think we're in Mr. B's. Yeah, because I think we were crossing the Sun Centre. Because I think I said something about the Sun, sun Centre when I got out. Sky tower there, looking like an empty sky tower, although it lights up at night. Let's go and see if we can find the spot. Let's see if we've got any more of these single ones. Desperate to get the one with the chip now. Ooh. Of Dumbo. Ready, go. See in here. We got Bolingo. Right. We might be calling for help because I don't think it's in here, which means I've got it wrong. I might get myself lost in the because I didn't even think it was possible. So I put the phone down and we're in. Traditional seaside shop. I think they're calling a Stephen. We've been in here a few times. 
Um, we yet to try the crazy golf. We have got some mini golf, I've got to say. So do we have complex in the area where you're guaranteed to find something for everyone? Please see the attendant at the first chapter below. I might do, it's just a quick Seven. So there must be another one in another room. It's not very big, but on a wet day, it's definitely something to do. It's actually it's quite an easy one for it, little is. I mean, it wasn't invented for Tiger Woods at the end of the day, was it? Not very big. It's more for littlies, I think. Look at the door. Don't shut it. That was a soft one, anyway. Five and three.